No. Uh-uh. Oh, absolutely not. YouTube thumbnails. Don't you hate the ones that YouTube defaultly gives you? I mean, who wants to have a funny looking face or maybe something caught in the background you really didn't want there? Wouldn't you rather have nice professional looking thumbnails for your videos like this? I'm David Vaughn and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create nice professional looking thumbnails for your videos like this instead of thumbnails that defaultly come like this all under five minutes. So grab your lattes or your chai teas and stay tuned. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in to creating those YouTube thumbnails that I know you're so eager to do and get rid of that default ugly one that YouTube defaultly gives you. And I said default way too many times, didn't I? Anyway, we're going to be using a service called Canva and the link for Canva will be in the description below, but it's Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Once you've logged into your Canva account, go ahead and click on the more button. And when you scroll down, you'll notice a new template available under social media and email headers called YouTube thumbnail. So go ahead and click on that and that will open up your canvas or your Canva for you to begin creating your masterpiece thumbnail. Now you can look over here to the left and see that there's a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from to start with and I would recommend getting started with one of those until you get comfortable because they've got some really nice layouts. So we'll pick this one right here. Now the images a lot of times that are included are going to be images that you need to pay for if you wanted to use this. However, I'm not Olivia Shaw. I don't know if that's her, but I don't need her image on there. So I'm not going to use that. So what you do is you just select it. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see the actual image, not the one at the top, but the one at the bottom. Just hit that trash can icon and it goes away. Now this right here is a placeholder for an image and I wanted to keep that there. That's why I didn't click this trash can. Otherwise the placeholder for the image would have been gone as well. Now I already have some images uploaded, but if you don't have any images, you can easily search for images on Google or if you've got images on your hard drive somewhere, you can upload whatever it is that you want to use. You drag it over and you see the placeholder automatically places it in. Now you've got the ability to crop the image if you want, but I'm pretty happy with the way that it is right now. So I don't need to do that. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a filter to the background. So I'm going to add this shape, which is already a transparent image and that's fine because I don't want it to completely take away what I've already got back there but I do want to make sure that it only filters the actual image so I'm gonna hit the back button and you can see that as I hit the back button all of a sudden the different layers of text are starting to come forward and that's as far back as I needed to go. Now, I don't really like the white. I think I want to choose the blue. And I'm going to leave that there like that. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to change this to my name and my YouTube channel name. And as you can see, the text is a little bit longer than Olivia Shaw. That's easily solved. You can just take this and stretch it out a little. And we need to stretch it out just a little bit more. So that we can center that in. And that looks almost centered. And then I'm going to change this text which is a little large and I don't really want that large of a font so I just select the font size and I'm going to go down to let's say that right there 
and it's still a little big but I can stretch the container box out and we'll shrink it down just a little bit more let's do 38 and that looks better Stretch that out, and we'll take that size down to match the size of the text above create. Let's make that a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit bigger. That's good. All right, so we're really starting to come through, and you can see we haven't really taken much time at all. Now, it's kind of difficult to see the black. Now, I could change this color to white if I wanted to. And I think I like white. But it's still a little difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. And let's size it up with this shape. That looks good. And I'm going to change this to black. And I'm going to send it to the back. And there you go. Now, the other thing that I want to include is my image. And I've already uploaded some. And I could pick from a range. I could do this one. Or I could delete that one off, and let's just say that I want this one right here. Oops, there we go. And if I'm a little large, I can shrink me down. And if you don't like something, you can always undo it, and then you can start over. That's a little bit better. No, I'm not so in your face on my thumbnail but that actually looks pretty good to me right there for the moment so i could go with this and it already looks a thousand times better than what youtube's defaultly going to give you and you can do all sorts of things you can add other shapes you can add other frames you can add other images whatever it is that you want to do now once you're complete make sure you give it a name that you can remember so what i always like to do is just name it what it actually is but I've covered my channel name I've covered what the actual video is going to be about and I've put my image in there so the people know oh okay it's this guy I've seen his stuff before I know who he is then once you're ready just click download and select image for web it's going to prepare the design. Basically, it's taking all the different layers that you've got and flattening them down into one image and then it's downloaded. Now you can go ahead and share this if you want, but what I'm going to use is just upload this to the actual thumbnail. So, and you can see I did one other one, and I did a little bit of different image. I placed me differently. I had some different shapes, a little bit different text font to go along with what I actually had, but you can see that there's a range of options that you can do. So what did you think? Is it easy enough that you could do it and get rid of all those default ugly thumbnails? I think it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you've not seen my previous two videos, the links to those are right down below. And if you want to make sure that you get updates on when my latest video comes out, make sure you're subscribed and you can subscribe with the link right over here. I will see you soon. Bye.